Hello, my name is James Lasseter. I'm the owner of Tennessee Off-Grid Systems. I'm in my backyard in Middle Tennessee. I uh, kind of wanted to show you what you can do with a small backyard. You can be sustainable um, whether you're living in the city or you're living in the country. I live in what's called a tall skinny. So it's what living in Nashville has come to. So I'm gonna take you guys on a journey as we build an off-grid cabin. So I have things that I've done here in my own home, like the garden I have, the chickens, the solar, the solar mini splits, the rainwater capture. I've done systems, believe it or not, I have a micro hydro system that runs in a cave in Tennessee. It's one of the neatest things I've got to do. I've got over 150 solar installations. I've got over 500 geothermal installations. I've got some wind turbines I've done. This is something you can do yourself. It is not as hard as what it seems like. You just have to get into it. I believe that anybody can do it. Uh, believe it or not, if you have the will to do it, I can help show that to you. I started watching internet videos, learning how to do a garden and thought, how hard could it be? It, it was a lot harder than I thought to get things to grow for sure. I watched videos where they would say, oh, just take these potatoes and you just throw them in the ground and they grow. Uh, I couldn't grow them for a long time so I figured out how to get the soil right. It's something I just am passionate about since I was a little kid and I just kind of wanted to show you what I have and what I've done here even in this small space. So behind me I have five 55 gallon barrels. I found them on Facebook Marketplace, five dollars each. I cleaned them out and then I hooked them up to my gutter system. I've got a spigot that comes out here at the bottom. I actually use that for my gardening. So all my water from my garden comes from my rainwater capture. In Nashville, uh, not only are you allowed to capture rainwater, they actually have a program to get you free rainwater barrels, which I'll put in the link. But this is the easiest, simplest way to capture rainwater that you can have. So I have five barrels completely full of water that I have access to. And in Nashville, it hasn't rained in the past three weeks, and I still probably have about 80% of my water right here behind me. So this is a very simple setup. It looks complicated with all these wires, but this is actually a Renogy solar charge controller that controls the voltage. I have a 100 watt solar panel for my shed. This is a simple DC disconnect. Bought all this from Amazon. This turns off the solar coming from my roof to the charge controller. The charge controller controls the voltage coming from that panel and charges a lithium iron phosphate simple looks like a 12 volt car battery that system then feeds over to my inverter it outputs it says 1100 watts i'd safely use about 800 watts of this it even has some usb chargers it powers my shed my lights i can come out here and plug anything i want into this and run it even ran a uh, 1000 watt heater just to kind of warm up my shed this is a simple system total cost in the system was right about 400 dollars complete something you can do and we'll have a more detailed video coming on this later. So this is my EG4 solar mini split. It's a 12,000 BTU mini split. Runs my entire downstairs and I have one for my upstairs. It has PV wire, red and black. You can kind of see it on the ground right here. Running over to a dual axis tracker. Right now it's running only off of solar. No power from anything else. It's basically a plug and play system. You use your two MC4 connectors from your red and your black. You plug it in. You do have to have 90 volts to get this system started. So when you're figuring up your system, you'd like about a thousand watts worth of panels and you need to have at least 90 volts for it to come on. It comes automatically. It's been installed for a year and a half now. It's been working great. I've been really impressed with it. Heating and cooling both. So if you look up and you see that green light on the mini split, that tells you it's running off of solar. So I've got an updated wattage now. Um, you can see it's at 700 watts of solar running for the cooling. And the nice thing about this app, you can set, turn the temperature on off, turn the system on just from your phone, which is great. Let's go take a look at the outside. So we have an eco-worthy dual axis tracker. This is six 200 watt panels that I have. This system automatically turns, if you notice right here, that little eye, is what sends in the sun. It automatically will rotate, starts out in the morning this way, and then slowly turns throughout the day and tracks the sun. This is a system that probably would take you a full day to put together. We had a learning curve of taking it apart, put it back together again. Um, right now, I'm very pleased with it. It also has a sensor, a wind sensor, that if the wind gets too high, it actually turns flat for protection. We're gonna take this system, I've got it temporarily just with sandbags weighting it down. But we're going to take this and put this in the off-grid cabin. 
but I wanted to test it here first. If you have a limited space in your backyard, this is a great option because it'll turn and track with the sun and it's running the mini split right now, 100% solar. No grid power of any kind, just directly. Oh, well, there it goes, it just turned. <laughs> It'll turn throughout the day all the way to it faces the exact opposite direction at the end of the day. These are also bi-directional panels. So if I had a white surface underneath this, they would actually direct the sun back up to the panels. So it says 1200 watts, but we think we can probably get another 100 watts out of it. We'll see as we run the system. The power that runs this is a 12 volt lithium iron battery. It also is powered by solar, so no power from the grid is being used to run this or the mini split. All that I have working here at my house, we'll be taking that to another location that uh, we'll be showing you how we make those uh, adjustments and how we build those systems for off-grid. It's something I really enjoy, I'm passionate about. I wanna teach other people. Um, and if somebody says, oh, you can't do that, well, I'm the kind of person that said, oh yeah, you can, and I have done it, and I can show you that.